let's have it balanced right here. That's good. All right, you ready? There's lots of misunderstanding and, quite frankly, ignorance about the conflict between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip, as well as the broader conflict between Israelis and Palestinians. And if people want to learn more about the broad history of this conflict, I recommend five books. And if you stick around to the end, I've got a sixth book for you as well. The first of these is A History of Israel from the Rise of Zionism to Our Time. This is volume one of the late, great Howard M. Sachar's two really extraordinary books on the history of Israel, going way, way back to the beginning of Zionism through the founding of the state. I tend to use this book as reference material, but I have read it from beginning to end and have learned a tremendous amount. So if these long reads and deep, deep, well-researched history in multiple languages is your bag, I strongly recommend Sachar's A History of Israel. Um, it comes in two volumes. This is the first one. This is the one that I tend to go to most often. A second book that I think is, is super interesting, it's, it's very different. It's written by an Israeli journalist named Yossi Klein Halevi. It's called Like Dreamers. And what it does is it follows the story of seven Israeli power troopers who were involved in the liberation of Jerusalem during the June 1967 war. And it traces their life stories and how, although the seven of them are connected in this extraordinary moment in Israeli history, how they diverged in later life. And it really speaks to the kind of deep and abiding differences among Israelis about the future of their country. Then for a, an entirely different perspective on these issues, I strongly recommend Rashid Khalidi's The Hundred Years War on Palestine. This is, I think, the first book that provides a, a history of the conflict between Israelis and Palestinians told specifically from the Palestinian perspective. Khalidi is an excellent writer and he really provides a, a compelling narrative for the Palestinians. And it gives you a sense, if you were read some of these works in parallel, how deep the divide is. This book, I, I think early on in the conflict between Hamas and Israel, was on the New York Times bestseller list. It, it is certainly well worth a read. The next book is a book called Building a Palestinian State, The Incomplete Revolution by a fantastic political scientist named Glenn Robinson. This is really one of the best books on the Palestinians. One of the most interesting aspects of this book is when Robinson traces the emergence of Hamas in the late 1980s. There's a lot of myth-making about where Hamas came from, that the Israelis created it, I'm not going to give that part of the book away. You should really read it. It is a work of political science, but it's highly, highly readable. I, I strongly recommend Robinson's Building a Palestinian State. And then there is Paradigm Lost, From Two-State Solution to One-State Reality by Ayn Lustig. Ayn Lustig's a professor of political science at the University of Pennsylvania. He makes a, a very interesting and controversial argument here, which is that the West Bank, Israel proper, and the Gaza have essentially become one state in which the, the state of Israel controls all of these territories. But the fundamental problem is there is no equality. Uh, and that is leading to apartheid. But what Lustig says is that over a long period of time, Israelis and Palestinians will see political opportunity in building a more just and democratic society in which Jews and Arabs live side by side equally. This is something that, that Ayan and I disagree about. I have a much darker vision of this, but he presents a, a, a cogent and compelling analytic case for it. The sixth book is a book that hasn't been published yet, but is close to my heart. Uh, it'll be published in June 2024, and I've written it. It's called The End of Ambition, America's Past, Present, and Future in the Middle East. It's not intended to be a history of the Arab-Israeli conflict or a history of the U.S. in the Middle East, but it does provide a sharp analytic edge to the relationship between the United States and Israel, how Israel's national security became a core interest of the United States in the Middle East, and what the consequences of that were for the Palestinians and their quest for statehood. If you've liked this video, uh, please leave a comment. And importantly, if you have your own book recommendations to help people understand the conflict between Israelis and Palestinians, please leave that title in the comment section. Thanks so much.